52 videos and I am harassing her because I've done one video on Instagram and one video on YouTube, two videos on YouTube, four videos total in the last few days. And that's due to a legal issue with stalking. Exactly. That's right. I only do videos when there's a, a concern of stalking. Not that my videos become a concern of stalking. They chose to legally use my face and my image and my likeness, and that's illegal. If you had a face like that, it would be illegal for you to show it too. Why do you think I've been doing voiceovers? Fraudulently raising money when they are the perpetrators. And Katie doesn't have a court case. She doesn't even have a case. Oh, but yeah, she's still a perpetrator. But CC Suarez is going to put out a video. By the way, CC, you're blocked now. Yes, yeah, CC, you're blocked. I mean, Girls gotta play hard to get. You're not locked. And I will not be gaslit into believing and to try to twist the narrative that um, I get too close to my sources. I mean, how else am I going to get information out of my sources if I don't have them chained up in my basements? <laughs> how many times has Renelle talked about my child? How many times has she doxed my child's life? How dare she tell people that my son exists? She can't dox his life like that. I am not the perpetrator here. This time. And my relationships with my sources are none of your business, Cece. If I have close relationships with my sources, who cares? I'm proud of my sources. I love my sources. And you guess, you know what? I love my sources so much. They either live here or in my basement. I reminded her that I've never sexually assaulted or human trafficked anyone. Am I going around accusing everyone else of having done that? It's not at all. Deflection. Audio of you on Steve, on a panel with Steve. There's a video on Cheshire's channel of you saying, I met Steve in October. He defended me to Sharla. He told Sharla, I'm not like Katie Joy. You think you can just come around here, start taking up space in Steve's head? I was his renter first. You told Steve, you admitted that you told Steve that Sharla might have mental illness and people should leave her alone. The nerve of you to go around telling people to be considerate of her issues and to leave her alone. We're not considerate people. Don't come around here pushing your considerism on all of us, okay? You chose to take that letter that she sent to you in confidence on, I believe, Cheshire's page that you contacted the therapist's office to verify that this was true. Oh my God, you're like such a boomer. You actually went to verify something? It's YouTube, nobody verifies anything, oh my God. You could have a successful channel, but what you're doing is not it. And don't blame me. I said to you, you can have a successful channel. I said that you could. You have my permission. Why are you doing it? My subscribers, do you know how many people on my video from yesterday said to me, I just wish she would go back to how she was. She was so funny. I loved her videos before she started going down this trail. See, and my subscribers would know after I just talked much shit about you for a while now. It's what they want, they counts. They just wanted you to talk about the Duggars and Sister Wives. They wanted your funny videos about Cody's fifth wife. Because your channel is not about you. It's not an expression of you and what you want. It's about what they want. So just shut up and talk about the Duggars. You crossed a line, you crossed a boundary. You used my image. How desperate do you have to be? And you told people that I was sending a stalker to you to harass you. And yet the only thing I've complained about that statement there is how you've said that she came from me, nothing else. I've asked you to publicly say that I am not attached to this stalker. I've asked you to... I, I just wanted you to come up publicly and call her a stalker. I think you all should return the money that you fundraised fraudulently. Well, it's only fair.
I mean, if I can't run a grift, well, then no one else can run a campaign. If people have taken money out of, have donated money to you all, to these creators, you should request a um, refund from GoFundMe and you can report the fundraiser for fraud. You can also file a police report if you want. It's super easy. Just just do exactly what we did over that whole Marvon scene. Never mind. When I have been through all these lawsuits, I've learned things. For instance, Coca-Cola can't start making videos or uh, commercials saying that Pepsi is terrible. They can't go out and put out Pepsi's formula so that people will drink Coca-Cola. They can't put out slanderous pieces and say Pepsi's, Pepsi's poison so that people will drink Coke. I just like to say Coke over and over again. Okay, now it's time to remember shout outs. I'd like to thank Llama Girl, Ryan Dreamer, Vivian Galagos, Mr. Blackwolf, April Penrod, Miss L, Cal Bell, Mikkel Wells, Tammy Sue, Lazy Wolf, Chanel Smith, Hank Texas, Queen Donnie, Cat Needs a Snickers, Tax Max Tax Thunderclap, Elizabeth Brockna, Tequila Alive in Mexico, Chanley, Teresa, Supernatural Crime with Nikki, Linda Reese, Indigo Halo, The Crazy Lady, Bada Jade, Dash X, Jess, Cheryl Tobiason, Randa Smith, Maps Cat, DC, Estella Havisham, Crafty Florida Lady, Sakara Bear, Sue, Heather McDonald, Channel Has Been Deleted, Sean Coffey, Reagan, L.E.R., Flying Mom Laura, Leslie Korea, Autistic Show, I'm Fucking Reagan, Virilian, Let's Talk with Megs and Michaela, Nana Hawk, Osbell, Cheryl, Berber, Sassy Nas, Rena Rue, Leah, Sally Godfrey, Sassy Elmo, Sunny D, Jen Gerard, and Poodle Thank you everyone for joining and thank you everyone for watching.